This is Susan and Roger, enjoying some leisure time together. Roger is vegan. A vegan is someone who does not eat animal products, like meat, eggs, dairy, and honey. Oh, looks like Susan has a surprise. Oh, what a lovely cake. What's this? Roger says he doesn't want any cake. He doesn't know Susan is vegan as well. Come on, let's show him. Earlier, Susan didn't know what to replace eggs with. Don't worry, there are many healthy and humane substitutions. Chin up, Susan. Eggs have three main functions in cooking and baking. They add moisture, bind the ingredients, or make everything rise. How do you tell what the egg is used for in your recipe? If the egg is the main liquid ingredient, it adds moisture. If there is another leavener, such as baking soda, it is the binder. If there are no other rising agents, it is the leavener. But with all the amazing substitutions you are about to see, you'll never need or miss eggs again. You'll be seeing a difference in both your pocketbook and waistline with these healthy and inexpensive replacers. Each measurement presented equates to one egg. Replicate to match your recipe. To begin our review of binders, use one fourth cup of tofu. Blended so that no lumps appear in the end product. Tofu can also be used in a substitute for cream and pudding pies, cheesecakes, omelets, scrambles, and quiche. Tofu adds both moisture and binds. Isn't that something, Susan? To bind and add moisture, you can also use fruits. Half a banana will do. That's good. Don't forget to mash it, Susan. There you go. Or you can use one-fourth cup of unsweetened applesauce, as well as dried prunes, apricots, cooked pumpkins, or squash. Additional baking powder adds lightness when using fruit. To bind and add moisture, you can also try flaxseed meal with water. Flaxseed is an excellent source of omega-3 fatty acids. Whisk them well. Allow it to sit, then whisk again until it is thick. For a flavorless binder, try using arrowroot powder or potato starch. Corn starch works just as well. Make sure to whisk with water. Whisk until thick. Try soy yogurt as well. All right, Susie, come out from under there. Susan's a little afraid because she thinks our next ingredient, agar, comes from Mars. It's actually a sea vegetable used as the Japanese version of gelatin. Here we're using it to replace egg whites. One tablespoon of agar powder is added to one tablespoon of water, whisked until fluffy. Then you need to chill it for about 10 minutes. After that, whisk it again until fluffy once more. If you don't have any of these ingredients, try using oil, three tablespoons of oil and one tablespoon of water. Once again, use that wonderful whisking action until frothy. If you are making a savory dish that calls for eggs, such as a good burger, try adding three tablespoons of vegan mayonnaise product. 
tomato paste, a nut butter like tahini, or mashed beans or mashed potatoes. Savory is good, but Susan is making a cake and needs a leavener. Susan is using baking soda or baking powder as a leavening agent. A leavening agent is plainly the item in your recipe that makes it all rise. It makes your cake fluffy, gives air to those soft, chewy cookies, and distends the bread. Mix together, see how they react. A traditional leavener, one teaspoon of active yeast dissolved in one-third cup of warm water. It looks like Susan's a bit overwhelmed. Don't worry, the next one's easy. Look for energy powder at your local health food store. It acts as both a binder and a leavener, and can be used as a replacer in practically any recipe. Another easy leavener is simply using one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. For even more, add one teaspoon of baking soda to the vinegar. What have you decided to use in your cake, Susan? Baking soda, vinegar and oil? Good choice. Simple, undemanding and everyone has it. All of this information will be provided to you accompanied with this video. So much more nutritious than eggs and so convenient with no magic or tricks. And look at that lovely cake. Mmm, -mm, I'd love a slice of that. Now, Roger, what do you think of that? No animal products, and so tasty too. Maybe next time it's your turn to cook for Susan. Show off some of your vegan skills. Or would you prefer washing the dishes? Are you two even listening to me? Well, enjoy that cake.